Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree and we need to search an element, right? So we need to find out that whether this element exists or not in binary tree. So in binary tree, generally we don't have any order. They can be in any order like in BHT in binary search tree, we have some order like the left is less and uh, the right is greater than. So we can basically find out in log n. But here, as we don't have any order, so we need to find out in each node, right? So basically, we need to iterate each node. So that is why uh, when we when we find out any node in binary tree, the overall complexity is big of n, because at max, we need to traverse n elements or all the n nodes, right? So uh, to find out any nodes, uh, one way is the recursive way. So what we do, basically we start from the root node and then uh, then we check that whether this element is our uh, key or not, which you, are to, which you want to find out. If, if the value doesn't match, then we go to left. Uh, then we recursively go to left and then right. Like, so like in this case, what will happen? Let's say if I, am, if I want to find 11. So in this case, first it will check, uh, it will start from the root node. So it doesn't match, again it will go to left, it doesn't match, again it will go to left, it doesn't match. Now next is null, so it won't go further. Again right is null, it won't go further. So again it will go right, so it doesn't matches. Again it will go left, doesn't match, again it will go right, here it matches. So when it matches 11, so it, it can return 11, right? And let's say if you, if you are finding any element which doesn't exist in this binary tree let's say 100. So in this case, what will happen that it will keep on traversing element. And after that, once it has traversed all the element, so in this case, uh, it can simply return false that it cannot find any uh, this element, right? So it means in overall, we, we are basically uh, doing recursive manner. First of all, we are uh, matching the particular node. If we doesn't find, then we go to left, then we go to right recursively. Right. So in this, uh, basically, we are we are checking each element. So our overall complexity will be big of n. So this is our recursive way. Now, uh, so first of all, let me explain you the code of recursive way. Uh, this is how we do. So basically, here is my function recursive search. And in recursive search, what we do? We basically pass the root node, and this is my key which I want to find out. Right. So I say that if node equals to null, then return false. Else, if node of data equals to key, means if the value matches, then I can simply return true. Else, if value doesn't match, then go left or go right, right? And this thing will happen recursively. So either go to left node or either go to right node. So when if you if you found out the value, it will return true. If we doesn't found out the value, at last it will return false, right? Now let me explain you the another way. So another way is uh, the iterative way. So iterative may, means that basically we need not to, uh, we can't use recursive. The logic that we apply in finding out the label order or printing the element in label order with the same way we can do here. So in this, uh, what we do, we basically, uh, we basically take a help of Q and now we are doing iterative, right? So we'll pass the root node and then we'll, uh, then we'll put the root node into Q. Now we'll extract the root node and we'll check that whether this element uh, is our key or not. So this is not key. Now uh, it basically put the, if it has any left node or right node, then we put into Q. So this is how we do level order traversal, right? So it will put seven, it will put five. Again, uh, again, we'll remove the uh, next element from the Q and we will check if it matches or not, it doesn't matches. So then we'll put the left and right of this queue. It means we'll put 12 and six, right? So the seven, so the left of uh, seven is 12 and right of seven is six. Then again, we'll remove the next element five and we'll check that if it matches, no, it doesn't matches, right? So we are basically matching the item whenever we are removing from the queue, right? Now uh, this five has a right node, which is nine. So it means put here, then we'll again check with the 12 so 12 does not have any left and right and 12 also is not a key so we'll uh, re remove that now we'll check with the 6 so 6 is also not 11 if we are finding the value so it means we'll put 5 and 11 in the queue right now we'll remove 9 so again 9 is not our case but we'll put the 4 because it has that left node now we'll remove this 5 so this 5 uh, this 5 also it doesn't has, it is not matching the value as well as it does not have any left and right. So that, 
so when we'll remove the 11 so when i will remove the 11 which matches our value right which matches our value so we can say yes the value exists in our tree right and let's say if if there is even let's say if you are finding 100 so in 100 what will happen that once it will remove 11 then it will remove 4 and after that our queue is empty so if our queue is empty and if we are not able to find the value it means we can say that this element doesn't exist in the tree right so this is how we can do in iterative way iterative b means we are not using recursion and we are using queue right so 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 that is the thing that we need to take if we are, if we want to do iterative search we want to we need to take the queue right now what will be time complexity in this case in this case also our time complexity will be big of n because one by one we are iterating each element so this will be my time complexity and we'll have the space complexity as well because we are using q so our space complexity also will be big of n right so let me also explain you through code uh, this is how what i'm doing so uh, in iterative search i will pass the node and i will pass the key and this is the base case that if my root is null means if my binary tree is null so i will return the false else i will take a q right i will take a q means the link list then i first of all i will add the root node now I will iterate this until my queue is empty. Uh, so I will remove the element from the queue and I will check that whether the value matches uh, from our key or not. If value matches, then we can simply return true. If it doesn't matches, so uh, if if it has left node, we'll add the uh, if we'll add this element the t of left into queue. Same for the right. That if t dot right is not null, so we add the t dot right, right? So what is the logic? The logic is just simple that. Uh, after removing element we'll check that whether the value matches or not if doesn't matches that is fine then we check if it has a left or right so we add in the queue right and we do this until the queue is not empty once queue is empty after that we can simply return false because value doesn't matches right so this is how uh, this is how we can solve this question using recursive search or using iterative search right so recursive search is easy to easy to write easy to program because it's just that uh, we are using in uh, one or two line we are solving complete one in iterative search uh, in iterative search we need to take the queue right but in recursive search we need not to take any queue it's just that we are using the uh, we are using the system stack right so that's what uh, we need to take care so uh, that's it guys about this video and i will also put i will also put the source code of this one in my description section so you can copy from there so that's it guys about this video if you have any doubt regarding this video please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and guys if you know any other good approach then uh, please also mention in the comment section so that's it and if you if you have liked the video please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you